Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're doing the final reveal on the Revel 148 scale Unifort Typhoon single seater um, in RAF colours. So finally got this one done now after about uh, I think about a month or so, maybe two months, I'm not sure. I've um, been working on and off a bit on the um besides to the, the little uh bf on and on I've been doing. Uh, so sorry for saying this video for sneeze and locks I've got a cold so um that's a bit annoying but we all love them so uh so you're for typhoon a nice box so first of all we'll talk about the kit um a few of your shoes here and there a few slides didn't fit very well um but overall, quite a fun kit, um, not too bad at all. So, uh, instructions were quite easy to follow, a uh, uh, usual Ravel. And, um, yeah, so let's get on to the air. I've done it in a bomber type um, version instead of the fuel tanks. Um, so, here we have it. Quite big, to be fair, uh, if I put it next to a hurricane. Yeah, you'll be able to see. That's a 148 hurricane, so it's quite big. Um, it doesn't look that big on camera though, so yeah. So first of all, I'll start where every build usually starts in the cockpit. So I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but the canopy had a seam line down there. Um, now I'm not sure about that because it was clearly obvious i think it's where the, it's been put together but um i don't really want to sand it off because um i don't know whether i'd wreck it or not so yeah there's the cockpit in there I, I don't think you'll be able to see it very well but yeah the canopy's all closed up anyway uh so here Underside, um, it is. It has got these uh, little, well, quite big actually, missiles here. Uh, two of these um, bombs. Uh, I oh, what's it called now? Can't think. Got a missile and a, one of these cam things. I don't know what they're called, but um. I'm not an expert on bombs and stuff, so I was gonna have this out here, the thing, but um, didn't fit very well, so I ended up just uh, gluing that on and filling it there. So, uh, in the intakes here, got a lot of detail, put a bit of a wash in there, um, and landing gear as well, quite detailed. So the fit um, around the landing gear was okay. These bits didn't fit very well, these doors here. These ones did fine, um, these, but um, that didn't fit very well. Had no problem with the nose uh, wheel, it was just these two. Um, the engine takes, I mean, exhaust or afterburners or whatever, um, these, I sprayed these out clad. They were too obviously too light. So then I went over them with gun metal. And I'm gonna say it did make them a lot shinier uh, with the out clad underneath. So I think that's what I'm gonna do in my next build, because I'm doing a jet for my next build for Frankie Day's um Cold War grip build. And I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Actually, over there, you can obviously see what that is. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know whether it did lay on really nice and go a lot shinier. So, I don't know what it did to the, um, the paint, but, yeah. Uh, then, that's all clad round there as well. I didn't put a um, base coat on, because uh, it it's quite dull anyway. It's not too shiny. Uh, the weathering on this as well. Um... Here I've got the exhaust smoke coming out, um, which is actually like that on the real thing. If you have a look at pictures, 
Now, I was going to do this, I said in one of the videos, I can't remember what update it was. Um, I did say I was going to do it in just all clean and new. And then I came across a picture of this exact aircraft, same number, same plane. Um, and it looked absolutely weathered and you could see all the pre-shading on it. What I mean by that, you could actually see all of the the um, dirty, the pan lines, and here there was all it was all uh, really dirty around here. It actually looked really nice and uh, weathered up. So that's what made me do that. As I say, I was going to do it brand new, but uh, yeah. So uh, I did go with one fuel tank. Um, I wish I'd have kind of gone with fuel tanks here and there now, but uh, oh well, I think I'm going to get another one of these, maybe a two-seater or uh, another one, but in the different RAF um, squadron um, scheme, but overall, I think it was a good build. Uh, I used Revell colours on this uh, as well. I think that was Tamiya, actually. That and that was Tamiya up there, but... Uh, the, the main colour I used, which if you'll know, wait, let's just put it down. Uh, was Revell, just grey um, colour. Um, these paints, um, they're a bit hard to thin down actually, I found. Um, you couldn't get it too, it was either too thin or too thick, and it wouldn't spray. I eventually got it mm, kind of right, it went on like it was too thin. But after it had dried, it actually looked, uh, came out okay. I primed it with Tamiya's Surface Primer, which I do in most of my models, apart from some of them I did with Humble. Um, after I ran out of that, then I tried the fit Tamiya ones better. But, uh, yeah. Overall, cracking build, really enjoyed it. Um, so, now... What am I going to be doing for my next build? Well, I did just show you, uh, but if you didn't see it, oh, can I put that up there? Yeah. If you didn't just see it, it is a Atari 148 scale F14 a Tomcat. Um, so, a bit of Top Gun on the channel now. Um, so, uh, I'm entering this into the Cold War group build as it did do Cold War operations um, at the time in the Cold War and so I looked up on Google so uh, it's kit number 837 it was made I think in 1995 yep there uh, and uh, yeah so it looks okay inside the box uh, there's a canopy instructions are a bit um basic what there is this file um, so lots of detail um really nice detail bits of flash here and there and what i did notice was there was all these weird swiggly patterns i don't know what they are there that's all about um, made where it's got wet maybe and the water ran and i'm not sure but turn this light on here It any better sit there on that stabiliser is it a stabiliser? Uh, yeah I think so uh, and on here as well this one actually looks like uh, water where it's run but this just looks actually quite uh, what can I say neat I don't know look it's been put there so maybe just injection with the moulding or something um, and also, it is on the other side as well, so it might actually be something to do with the kit. I really don't know. Uh, if I look on the tail on there, I can't see any wiggly patterns on there. So, I don't know what that's all about. But I will be starting this after I've done the inbox review after this video. So, that'll be up um, a day after this one goes up. Uh, so, it's quite big. To be fair, if I bring the typhoon down again, <laughs> that's a few slotch. So it is massive, as uh, the top cats actually are quite big. So 
Yeah, lots of detail in here actually. Um, not sure where it's going to go. A couple of sink marks here and there. And bits of flash. Not much flash though. Um, but you have a bit in there. Uh, around here. Not much. But the detail on this kit is actually really nice to be fair. And you've got lots of bombs and stuff with it. So, um, yeah, I was thinking about doing a diorama uh, with this. Uh, cause, um, the model shop I go to, they do sell um, like car carrier deck um, platforms. So I was thinking about doing one of those, it would look nice. And uh, ages ago, when I was doing my booking out, I started this uh, thing called, oh, was it? I think it was Carrier Planes um, or something. And I I just completely forgot about it after. Um, so this would be a nice addition uh, to that um, as well. But overall, looks quite a good kit. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. It's very good build on this typhoon. Um, so I'd recommend it. To be fair, it's a nice kit. A few fit shoes here and there. You might need a bit of fill up, but and sanding overall good kit so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next build